everybody, it's Bridget at Hardwood Lumber and Millwork here in Lakeland, Florida. I'm here with Carla. Hi! So tell me a little bit about what we're working with here today. Hey, so this is a sample, uh, this is South Carolina Curly Maple. So it's actually, um, what's really neat about this is it does have some openings in here uh, where you can experiment with some epoxy. So you can um, get kind of creative with this and try something new. There's a couple of flaps of it. You could do a glue up and join some together to get more width. And you could, you know, you do lots of things. You can do a clear, a color, uh, black. A lot of people like blues and purples. Um, but you can have a lot of fun with this. And since it's curly, the grain is really going to pop really well with that. And it's just going to be a beautiful piece. So, and I have something in the back I want to show you too. So let's go take a look at that. Awesome. What we have back here is these are locally harvested pieces. For instance, over here we have dimensional lumber. Now this is sweet gum. This is four quarter sweet gum. It's local here in Polk County. It's got a lot of color, a lot of variation. It, a lot of the pieces have spalting in them too. Um, you yeah, you got here. a little bit of spalting action going on here. Ooh, and down here you got a lot of pretty color yeah. going on down here. So sweet gum is actually um, underrated. It's a gorgeous wood. Um, you can do a lot with it. It's very versatile. So it's something fun that you can play with. And it's not an expensive wood either. Then over here, we have these beautiful sweet gum slabs. This would be awesome for a fireplace mantle, for a huge bench. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, you know, something very rustic looking. Um, beautiful color on these. You could also, you if you wanted to, you could. Th these things are thick. They're like four inches thick. You, if you wanted to, you could join two together to make a huge table out of them. Oh, that's so good too. This is, yeah, these are beautiful options. Then over there, that one is a gorgeous piece of locally harvested red oak. Oh, okay. So, and that has a lot of um, beautiful figure running through it as well. So that would be a gorgeous piece to do something with. I could see you like cutting this in half and then putting it in your entryway for a bench to you take could. your shoes off. That, that would be beautiful. A lot of color, a lot of interest in that one. Yeah. Come on, I've got something else I want to show you. Awesome. So when we talk about playing with epoxy, here's a beautiful example. And this is two pieces of locally harvested Polk County cedar. Then we took, and you can see there's sapwood on both sides. So yeah. we didn't we didn't cut the middle pieces. This is full two pieces of slab. Oh my gosh. And then we just ran the, the river down the middle. We did clear epoxy fills in a lot of the pecky holes mm -hmm, here. Yeah. And then the river is a solid black going down the middle. Wow. And then we custom ordered the metal legs too for this customer. They wanted that high top effect with their bar stools under it. Oh, that's a great idea. So, and then, you know, when you're looking at the locally harvested cedar, here's a great example of something else going on over here. Oh my gosh. Now this was, this was one piece of, go ahead and grab that end down there. And you can take it. This was one piece of cedar that we ripped down the middle. But when you take it and you take your straight edges and you put them towards the outside, this becomes your river table. So you're building a trough to capture it right there and then you're doing your, you're cleaning all this out. Yeah. And then you're doing your fill down the middle. So it's pretty cool stuff. And again, you're playing with the epoxy, you can do lots of fills in here, lots of opportunities to get creative. But you get that beautiful, like rustic look from the wood with sort of a modern look you from do. that epoxy. It's so it's a really cool dichotomy. It's pretty awesome and it's a, it's a great opportunity. You know, cedar's not an expensive wood, so it's a great opportunity to start exploring. Great. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. We look forward to seeing you again next week on another episode of What's New Wednesday. Remember, whatever you build, keep it sustainable.